thing as far as like art and music are concerned or, or any creative kind of outlet you just kind of have to you know discover it on your own and, and break free so one of the first things that I had done is I started looking at what professional artists were doing and what what I wasn't doing and obviously you know the question came how to get into a gallery mm -hmm. and so from there it became how to take my my pen sketches or pencil sketches and how to translate them into uh, professional art you know like on canvas that uh, that you know galleries would would hang that's a striking image I mean you're pointing at it uh, I believe it's called the moon tree yes and this is this is I don't want to call it your breakout piece or a signature piece but it seems to be the one that when when I mentioned Joseph R Davis that people say oh the moon tree guy and uh, this this is the piece that you're talking about is right that right yeah that's it all right and, and what, what size is the one that we have in front of us here uh, this is roughly a 30 by 40 and it's a gicle print okay and I mean it, the, the sheen and the shine on it I mean it's just incredible is it set in a way where the colors are gonna be there or is it does it, does it tend to fade um, yeah it's it's a guaranteed print it's a standard gallery rating lasts about hundred years or so mm -hmm. and as I look at it I, I don't know where on earth you're gonna find a horizon and a tree and the moon like that um, you didn't just go out some night and snap that photo did you uh, kinda what, what happened is is there is this uh, tree as you see there and it had this big Victorian house next to it and it was a uh, old winery uh, vineyard there we go so uh, I had uh, seen the tree in the house and I, I was just captivated by it and really really wanted to get a picture and just you know always made excuses not to go so one day I went out there and it was after they had torn the house down so the house is gone and it was only the tree and I, I thought well you know they're gonna cut this tree down I better get out there and take some pictures of it so uh, I, I took the pictures and that little box, box up in here that is called a VW bus a lot of times is actually a little like tree fort that was there on the tree when you were there yeah, okay. yeah absolutely so the, the tree was in like a grassy background and the the moon and reflection are done uh, via 3d rendering programs so there's actually a program that you applied your artistic um, eye to to actually generate some of the images that we see here yes yes I use a, a, pay, a pen tablet it's it, it allows me to take uh, just like just like this pen here mm -hmm. and just like drawing on a piece of paper it allows me to draw directly onto the photos oh so what we're actually seeing here is is not a reflection from a tree on the water um, that's that's your eye and your hand creating that uh, to a degree in this case it's um, a mixture of 3d programs and then studying light and then you know blurring stuff from uh, Photoshop and was there an actual body of water that was photographed in order to lay there or is not for this particular one however there are other pieces that that uh, I do use actual photos of water so so what we're seeing then is is a photograph that you took and then you basically applied um, some of the um, techniques you just discussed and then how do we get the, the color schematic here I mean the, the way that the, the turquoise and the black I mean it just pops uh, where, where did that come from well that's just uh, from my own color studies you know obviously if you use a darker color on a uh, lighter color it's really gonna you know pop out there so that was uh, exactly what I had in mind um, most of the uh, education I have comes from reading a lot of books so when I look at things about uh, color and and you know how to choose colors these are things and these, these are absolutely things you have to know however I didn't go to school to learn them I just you know spent forty dollars at the library and you know got myself some books Google and hunting the artist yeah <laughs> <laughs> that works for me so I mean and you talk about being self-taught I mean it's, it's almost in a da Vinci Picasso sense that you you saw sort of a an image in your head and the 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 formalized training didn't exist when you came along and you and you taught yourself is that is that kinda what happened yeah yeah I, I I started seeing things I didn't like in my art and uh, I started troubleshooting it and then I would go try to find an article or something or uh, with the age of technology like YouTube you can find all kinds of stuff on there as far as like watching people actually paint watching digital t tutorials like what I do pencil stuff I mean with all the information out there if you spend enough time just soaking it all in you know you can go anywhere with it it sounds like a full-time job for you it is it is yes my my wife and I both uh, work full-time That's uh, Amber Davis Amber Davis mm -hmm. right work full-time uh, as the Joseph R. Davis machine uh, I produce all the art and she handles all the business and uh, 
So, so walk me through a day. I mean, you, you, you talk about educating yourself and about colors, and, I'm sh and I know you're getting into oil painting now. Mm -hmm. um, how much of your day is actually spent with the education process that maybe some folks get in a, in a college or through a you know, formalized like, art institute? How much of that was you just hour for hour, day by day, going through that? Well, I'll, I'll take uh, about a, you know, the usual books that you get in college, like uh, their color theory books. Um, and I'll read it all in one sitting. You know, I'll sit and read the whole thing and I'll take notes and uh, I'll find videos on it if I can or I'll find other books or other references and I'll just read. So, you know, if you think about a, what, two or three hour class in college and then uh, like four hours of homework that night, this is like, forget the four hours of lectures, you're doing all the lectures yourselves trying to figure that stuff out and troubleshooting it on your own without having anybody to explain it to you. But I think that the, uh, it, it makes it a lot easier to, to get that information because I'm getting it as I interpret it and uh, how I understand it. And it allows me to use those ideas create it, uh, creatively rather than saying, well, these are in stone. You can't really, everybody knows this color goes with that color. Everybody knows this composition is you know, the key to everything. So as far as your educational pedigree, I mean, you're, you're one of a kind. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> So when you, when you look forward and you, and, you, and you say, okay, I've got the website, I'm doing shows all over California, uh, my work is being you know, broadcast on the internet across the globe, uh, where do you see it going? Well, what, what's, what's the Joseph R. Davis, how, how is the world going to absorb this? I, I couldn't answer that question. <laughs> are, are you going to give us the opportunity? Is, is, is there a, a grand plan? Is it, do, you, do, do you want to be a, a top-selling artist? Do you want to express in, in a different way? Or maybe you could talk about some of your other images uh, that, that go along with appealing to different sorts of folks. Well, I, I think that overall the, the idea for, or the grand scheme for me would be just to, you know, bring, like, creativity and art back to people because I think a lot of it's been kind of uh, diluted down. You don't get a lot of it in schools anymore. There's not really a lot of art or music or singing. And, and I, I think these things really define us. They, they give us an opportunity to really strengthen that right brain. And you know what? That's actually perfect because uh, you, you have a piece called The Quiet Gaze. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that's coming up on our screen right now. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that image, uh, where it comes from? I mean, and again, it's just incredibly striking when you when you when you look at the way the the, the hair seems to be coming off the page. Her eyes follow you across the room, and it's a very beautiful woman. Um, did you make that from scratch, or was that a, a file photo from somewhere? That was actually a, a photo shoot I had set up uh, with the model Jillian Ann, and. Uh, it started off very simple, no makeup, no hair. Uh, she just tied her hair back and uh, everything else is drawn. Interestingly enough on this particular image on the website on one of the first pages because I think it's such a fun image to show, mm -hmm. I've got the original image fading to the final version which you see on the screen. Um, and uh, yeah, that's. It, it, I think it's even more striking when you can actually see the model and you, you can see that all the hair was drawn and that uh, all the markings were drawing and that, that she wasn't wearing any makeup. And, and that's the front page of the Beauty Unbound website? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. And folks can actually, if they, wanna, if they like the image, and everyone likes the image, but mm -hmm. if, if they want to get one for themselves, is, is that image available? Yeah, yeah. The website has all that stuff. And, you know, my, my wife, Amber, just spent the last couple of weeks uh, putting that together because you know we we do this quite literally on our own in a lot of cases mm -hmm. where uh, uh, again you know they told me I needed a website in order to be a professional artist <laughs> so I went out and I bought a $35 book and uh, you know f got a program and I built the website myself and then Amber went and learned the the genius that she is mm -hmm. uh, went and learned and uh, did all the stuff you see on the website now so okay. she completely revamped it. Wow, I, I've been on the website, and I must say it's 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 really looking good on there. Um, I I can click around for hours. I mean, a good part of my